Mathieu Bremont, uh, he's a physician, in a ph physiotherapist in English uh, in France, and uh, me, uh, I am a family practice practitioner in France. We come from Tours in the center of the France, and uh, our uh, research team is uh, EES, Education, Ethic, and uh, Health. And the uh, C study is a phenomenological analysis about COPD patient. So to remember uh, the epidemiology of the COPD, uh, there is uh, 3 million people died in um, 2012 and uh, with a very important social cost, around 3.5 billion euro in France last year. So the global burden of COPD represents the fourth leading cause of death in the world, and it's one of the public health priority topics. The evolution of COPD is slow and insidious. Patient presents a spiral of physical and psychosocial deconditioning and have a, a, poor, a poor quality of life. Uh, one uh, qualitative study showed that patients develop strategy of scoping and denial with an acceptance for COPD. The spirometry is a technical act necessary for the diagnosis of COPD and uh, it requires involvement and the effort for the patient. So our objectives was to determine if a first spirometry performed in the primary care setting is associated with increased awareness patients of their symptoms and their state of respiratory illness. So we performed a qualitative research. We included some patients after had been diagnosed with a smoking related COPD by spirometry conduct by their own family uh, physician. In several uh, settings in, the, in our uh, department last year, we performed uh, elicitation interview. It's a method of open, non inductive interview which allowed to explore the experiences. It's not a typical uh, interview because we are not fr uh, face to face with the patient. Uh, but uh, side by side. And uh, we uh, speak very slowly to allow the patient to relieve his experiences of the spirometry. The reference event is the spirometry. We describe our results uh, by three times, T1 before the examen, examination, T2 at the time of spirometry and T3 at the announcement of the results. And we choose a phenomenological approach to analyze relieved experiences of spirometry and triangulation and iterative analysis was respected. So I present you the results. So uh, we uh, gathered 10 patients together and uh, we interview them for an average of uh, 30 minutes as um, recommended in most APR. Sometimes it lasts longer, but um, for this one, as we explore the main um, feelings and emotion that occurs during the spirometry, uh, it lasts uh, shorter. So in the first uh, time, the first period before the spirometry, um, there was different theme that were uh, recalled by the patient. Most of them were about um, uh, apprehension uh, some patient was um, telling, um, we know, but we don't know, want, we don't want to know, we have strong doubts. They evoke also an unknown experiences uh, for the spirometry. Still, see what happens, what? So here we go, let's go. Lots of phrase around apprehension and stress and anxiety of performance. They wanted to compare themselves to the um, spirometer. And they were uh, saying from time to times, well, I'm not starting to stress, but I'm not going to be sick too much. In the second part, um, during the spirometry itself, 
Um, patient were um, phrase, um, calling about the strategy of appropriation. They were um, telling the parameter, naming this parameter um, as an object, as a toy. Uh, some says, I call it a toy, a trumpet. Um, it was an uncomfortable experience for most of them. It makes me cough like an animal. And it brings the, um, the emotion, um, a sort of um, conscience of their state of health. They start to understand as they felt in their body the limitation of their breath. Then the first, the third time after the spirometry, um, they were recalling a stage of um, of mourning as described by Kubler and Ross. And uh, just to name a few, but there was lots um, more to say. Um, they were in shock. Uh, I tell myself it was not good news. Sometimes it were about denial. I take this for a joke. Pain and depression were sitting. It is like a sentence of the condemned. Or so more positive uh, thoughts as rebuilding. Now I look to the future. So we, um, we after uh, using this chronological uh, sentence, and um, we, um, we are listening into the work, a uh, different theme as uh, the spirometry could create the right combination of the health behavioral change model. One of the three pillars of changing behavior is the importance. As the spirometry brings up the limitation of their symptoms, the patient um, are aware of their disease that occur very slowly during time to times, as it was said before. Moreover, um, the spirometry time with the GP is a good opportunity as it, says, as it brings settings of uh, self-confidence and uh, support and patient perception uh, bring out to the conscience. And spirometry testing may be an optimal time to make behavioral change. Moreover, with their GPs, um, they can build their confidence in their capacity of changing their behavior. Lots of them uh, evoke um, opportunity to start reducing smoking or just quit smoking. So importance, opportunity and confidence, the three pillar for behavioral change in most of the models. The, the perspective of these studies, it was to um, um, stretch out that just a technical act that as spirometry could be a good opportunity for the GPs to actually explore more um, um, more operation of the disease, but more studies are due to, uh, we need to do more studies to actually um, express the effectiveness of this change of behavior. Moreover, the um, tool we use, eliciting interview, could be useful to not only to assess the thoughts of the patient during the spirometry, but also to bring the conscience of their chronic disease on a more long time, long period. Probably other technical gestures, just as parametry in primary care, could be equally a uh, good opportunity uh, and a good ground for research uh, to promote self-confidence in patients with chronic disease. So we need more other uh, phenomenological studies based on technical act in primary care to enhance this perspective. Well, that was all, and thank you for our attention, and we are open to questions.